thousand years later. Six and a half hours later. A few inches later. Day two, day three, day four. A few moments later. Hi guys! I'm Angelica Mason Pedro. I'm Tadinda Gabby. I'm Mary James Kera. And we are going to talk about Bali!
profit ratio or the gross margin ratio expresses the gross profit or gross margin among as a percentage of sales. Next is markup. It's used several ways. Some retailers use markup to mean the difference between a product cost and its selling price. So, for formula this in this topic is in markup, profit over cost. Next is margin. Margin is profit over unit price. So this is the example for markup and margin. Our cost is 8 pesos. Unit price 19 pesos. Profit is 14 pesos. For markup, profit Divide, I over, divide. It was 175. Ano yun natin siya? This is for markup. And for margin, it's 14 pesos. Our next topic is gross margin in using sales. Gross margin is different between revenue and cost of goods sold divided by revenue expressed as a percentage. So this is the example for gross margin in new sales. To illustrate how to calculate gross margin, imagine a business collects $300,000 in sales revenue. It spends $30,000 on manufacturing supplies and $90,000 on labor costs. After subtracting its goods sold, it has $100,000 in gross profits. Dividing gross profits by revenue equals 0.5 and when multiplied by 100, that becomes 50%. So this is the solution for our example. Give it $300,000 is its revenue, $90,000 labor cost, and $30,000 on manufacturing supplies. So, in a minus mo na sila lahat ang sabot ay Ito yung gross profit natin. So yung gross profit natin ay ididivide siya sa revenue, revenue sales natin. Discount and discount series. A single tree discount is a discount given to purchases on a one off basis. Always remember the following keywords. First, the list price. It is the original price tag of the item. The discount trade. The value of trade discount. The trade discount. The amount of discount. It is obtained by multiplying the list price and the discount trade. And lastly, the net price. The amount that the buyer would pay after the price has been discounted. For single trade discount is this problem. A department store conducted a three-day sale. Chloe saw a pair of shoes for 3,000 pesos with a discount of 20%. How much would she pay for the shoes after gaining the discount? So first, we have the given. 3,000 pesos is the list price or the original price of the shoes. And she gained 20% discount rate. Next, we need to solve for the trade discount. The formula is list price times discount rate. So that will be 
trade discount is equal to 3,000 pesos times 0 0.20, which gain 600 pesos for the trade price or the trade discount. And lastly, we need to get the net price. The formula will be net price is equal to list price minus the trade discount. So that would be net price is equal to 3,000 minus 600, which gave 2,400 pesos. So Chloe would pay 2,400 pesos for the shoes. It would be discount series or chain discount. It is a type of discount in which several discounts are given to a purchaser at different times and dependent on the occurrence of different conditions. Discount series or chain discount is this problem. Bullet orders 6 wood stoves with the list price of 6,000 pesos from his supplier. The supplier offers a chain discount of 5 tip. What is the net price of the fireplaces? So first, we have the given. The list price is 6,000 pesos and 5 tip is the discount rate given by his supplier. We have 3 steps to compute for the discount series. Step number 1. Subtract each discount from 100%. 100% minus 5% is equals to 95% discount 1. Next, 100% minus 10% equals to 90% discount 2. Step number 2. Multiply them to get the net price equivalent rate. Do not round off the decimals. So the formula is net price equivalent rate is equal to discount 1 times discount 2. Net price equivalent rate equals to 0 0.95 times 0 0.90, which gains 0 0.855 for the net price equivalent rate. And lastly, compute for the net price. Net price is equal to list price multiplied by net, net price equivalent rate. Net price is equal to 6,000 pesos multiplied to 0 0.855. That would be net price equals to 5,130 pesos. Next topic is profit and loss. Profit is a beneficial benefit that is realized when the amount of revenue gained from a business activity exceeds the expenses, costs, taxes needed to sustain the activity. Any profit that is gained goes to the business owners who may or may not decide to spend it on the business. There are two types of profit. First is the accounting profit. It is the difference between total monetary revenue and total monetary cost. It is computed by using generally accepted accounting principles or GAAP. This consists of the explicit cost of firm has to maintain production. For example, wages, rent, and material costs. Accounting profit is also limited in its time scope. Generally, accounting profit only considers the cost and revenue of a single period of time, such as a fiscal quarter or year. Next is the economic profit. It is the difference between total monetary revenue and total cost. But total cost includes both explicit and implicit costs. Economic profit includes opportunity costs associated with production and is therefore lower than accounting profit. Economic profit also accounts for a longer span of time than accounting profit. Economics often consider long-term economic profit to decide if a firm should enter or exit the market. Loss is a decrease in net income that is outside the normal operations of the business. Losses can result from a number of activities such as sale of an asset for less than its carrying amount, the write-down of assets, or a loss from lawsuits. So, hi guys! Um... Our topic is about profit and the given question is illustrate how profit is obtained and how to avoid loss in a given transaction. So what is profit? Profit is a money that is made in business and the formula is selling price minus cost price. How about loss? So loss is it is a failure to gain and it is focusing on your business spend than it made. And plus, it is unavoidable. And it is decreased in net income. So, an example. So, how to compete for a copy? Plus, 
of the point at which revenues equals expenses. In securities trading, the break-even point is the point which gains equal losses. Break-even, R equals C. Selling price R is equal to C, fixed cost plus variable cost. The so first example for break-even is, Alyssa decided to sell donuts to gain profit. She spent a total of 585 pesos for all the ingredients. After manufacturing the donuts, she finished a total of 65 pieces. As a first-hand vendor, she decided to just sell it for 9 pesos each. After retaining all the donuts, she found out that she only gained the same amount and wasn't able to earn a profit. Still, she is happy to what happened and decided to make a plan on selling it next time. Next example, Michael decided to make pizza to gain profit. He spent a total of 3,450 pesos for all the ingredients. After manufacturing the pizza, he finished a total of 120 pieces. He decided to just sell it for 28.75 pesos each. After retailing all the pizza, he found out that he only gained the same amount as his expenses. So the next is solve problems involving buying and selling products. Specifically, it is applied to mortgage amortization and uncertainty, utilities and deposits and loans. So, what is mortgage? So, mortgage it is a legal agreement in which a person borrows money to buy property and pays back the money over a period of years. So, years and a Thank you. 
of commission. There are three types of commission. The straight commission, salary plus commission, and graduated commission. Straight commission is when a person is paid a percent of sales only. For example, Lina receives 30% commission on the appliances she sells. If she sells an oven for $350, a refrigerator for $400, and a TV for $440, how much does Lina make a commission? So first, we have the given. 30% is a percentage commission. Her sales were $350 for the oven, $440 for the TV, and $400 for the refrigerator. Our formula for the straight commission will be Straight commission amount equals the percentage times sales. Straight commission amount is equals to 0 0.30 times 350 plus 440 plus 400 dollars equals to 0 0.30 times 1,190 for the sales. So that would be straight commission amount equals to 357 dollars. Commission is salary plus commission. Salary plus commission is one of the more common compensation structures used by employers to pay salesmen. Employees receive a guaranteed base salary amount but also earn an undefined amount of commission based on the amount of sales. Salary plus commission is when a person gets paid a salary and a percent of sales. For example, Mika sells webcam and earns $1,300 per month plus 2% commission on sales. One month, she sold $35,000 worth of product determine her pay. So first, we have the given. $1,300 per month as her salary, 2% percentage commission, and $35,000 as her sales. So the formula is gross pay is equal to fixed salary plus commission times sales. Gross pay equals to $1,300 plus 0 0.02 times $35,000. Gross pay equals to $1,300 plus $700, which is equivalent to gross pay 
is equal to $2,000. So, Mika will earn a pay of $2,000. Our next type of commission is graduated commission. A system of compensation for sales people where the percentage of sales earned increases incrementally as sales volume increases. A graduated commission structure may be used by a business in order to provide sales staff on commission with a greater incentive to increase sales volume. The commission is when the person changes based on how much someone sells. For example, Dan is a realtor and earns 2.5% on the first $100,000 of the sale of a house and 3,000% on any amount over $100,000. Determine his pay if he sold a property worth $475,000. So first, we have the given. 2.5% is a percentage commission for first $100,000. 3% percentage commission for any amount over $100,000. And $475,000 is his sales. The formula will be commission total is equal to 2.5% commission plus 3% commission. Commission total is equal to 0 0.025 times $100,000 plus 0 0.03 times 47,500 minus $100,000. So that will be $2,500 plus 0 0.03 times $375,000. $2,500 plus $11,500 is equal to commission total of $14,000. So, cash base is the first to evangel a shooting method for recognizing revenues and expenses and commission on installment basis is when a seller allows the customer to pay for a sale over multiple years. The transaction is accounted for by the seller is using the installment method. Next is down payment. So, down payment. Problem solving for interest. Problem number one. Ariel takes a loan of $8,000 to buy a used truck at the rate of 9% simple interest. Calculate the annual interest to be paid for the loan amount. So first, we have the given. 8,000 pesos is the principal. 9% is the rate. And the time is 1 year. formula to solve the interest is interest equals to principal times time multiplied by rate. Interest equals to 8,000 times 1 times 0 0.09. So the annual interest will be 720 pesos. problem is Ryan borrowed 15,000 pesos from a bank to buy a car at 10% simple interest. If he paid 9,000 pesos as interest while clearing the loan, Find the time for which the loan was given. So first, we have the given. 15,000 pesos is the principal. 10% is the rate. And 9,000 pesos is the interest. The formula to find the time is time equals to interest over principal times rate. Time equals to 9,000 divided by 15,000 multiplied by 0 0.10. So the time is equals to 6 years. 